You know, I, when I came across the interview survey of 50 people age 95 and older, it changed my life. It was years ago. And the first thing, if they were going to live their life over again, what would they do differently? And number one was take more risks. Number two was, was to smell the roses. But number three was legacy. And I started realizing that, you know, what is legacy? I always thought that was just the rich people leaving things. Then I started looking back at my values, my characteristics of who I am, that I value, that I, I like some of my personality, and it was some of my dad's personality. And then I looked and it was some of my grandmother's personality. And I even got to meet my great-great-grandfather and it was part of his personality. And I loved hanging around with him whenever I went and visited him. And I thought, oh my gosh, that's legacy. That's the legacy. Is It gave me the confidence to be okay with the trait that I had with them. And I thought, you know what? It helped me in life as I was going through. But how did I pull it from them? They didn't dump it on me. It was because my interaction with them was it just kind of absorbed. So with legacy, I determined that legacy was something that a part of who you are is passed on down to the future, to the ones that you love. But it's not about you. It's not about me. It's about them. And most things I read about legacy is about the person who's leaving material things or whatever. It's about making sure they get their name on the building as the legacy. So people remember, oh yeah, that's, but it's not that. It's about giving the young people that ammunition the, that they need to make it through. You know, kind of like what Franklin Delano Roosevelt said, always sit there. You can't always build the future for our youth, but you can always build our youth for the future. And that's through connection. And you can't pass on legacy without having that connection. It's, got, it's so important. And that connection the, the awe that they may feel. You may not see them feel this, but they feel it, especially when you make it about them and you learn who they are. So when you learn who they are, then all of a sudden they'll, they'll want to learn who you are. And that is where that transmission of legacy and values and the things that the best part of your 70 years of wisdom and experience you have, that best part is transferred to them to give them what they need to make it through that 50-year forest or through the future.